What's up, wonderful people? This is Eric Gill Jr. with www.ericgilljr.com, and I'm coming to you today with another PowerPoint slide with what you need to know about affiliate marketing. Of course, you could check me out at www.ericgilljr.com, and I will also suggest that once you go onto my website to go ahead and check out my podcast. I have a podcast on um, Anchor.fm. I have a podcast on um, iTunes podcast. I just have it everywhere. So go ahead and check that out. So today what you need to know about affiliate marketing. That's the subject. So well you have finally done it. You packed up all your rubbish from your job. You told your boss exactly what you think. You have taken the plunge and made the decision to begin your own affiliate marketing business. Affiliate marketing can be very lucrative. It provides people with the opportunity to work for themselves with very little risk to them. Those that are sales savvy, good at marketing, and are not afraid of a little hard work can often do incredibly well with affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing sounds easy, but you do need to exercise some caution. You want to avoid the affiliate marketing pitfalls that can ruin your business and worse, have you crawling on your knees back to that boss that now knows you true how you truly feel you don't want that to happen people tend to get excited when they start a new venture unfortunately this excitement and eagerness can cause them to miss key things in their agreement whenever you sign up for an affiliate marketing program you will be expected to sign an agreement the terms and conditions of the agreement for both sides should be outlined. However, if they want to hide something, this is where they will put it. It will either be in small print, so get your magnifying glass out, or they will baffle you with legal language. Either way, you need to read and understand your agreement thoroughly to avoid disappointment and lost earnings. If you are signing up for a commission-based affiliate marketing program, that you need to understand how the term revenue is defined. This is one of the biggest pitfalls of the contracts. They may advertise five to 10% commissions, but it all fall on how they define revenue. Most affiliate marketing programs will calculate commission on the gross value, gross value of the sale. In other words, the amount of money the site will get at the completion of the sale. You may think that this sounds great, However, you need to read this part of the agreement very carefully. The amount of the sale almost always excludes credit card or debit card payment surcharges. They also are likely to exclude payment and delivery charges as well as any gift, gift wrapping or other surcharges. What sounded like a nice commission is soon shrinking before your eyes. Ask these questions specifically before you sign an agreement. One thing um, pertaining to this uh, slide right here, whenever you're joining something, you need to be open about it, vocal, talk to the company, uh, talk to the support team. Uh, hopefully they have a support team. Um, if not, then that's a red flag. You definitely want to look for a company, an affiliate marketing company that has a support team to where you can ask questions when it pertains to commissions. Usually, uh, well, at least the company that uh, I'm working with called Legendary Marketer, they have everything outlined. So it's like you really don't even have to uh, really question what the commissions are. And I'm going to do a video on Legendary Marketer as um, time goes on so you can see exactly um, why I joined and how I joined. But um, definitely be vocal because you're signing an agreement to work with the company to make money with the company and you want to make sure that you are getting paid accordingly for your advertising. So some affiliate programs are even stricter in the definition of revenue. Your commission may be based on a profit margin of the sold product. For example, if you help sell a book for $20, 
but the company only makes $10 profit, you'll receive a percentage of $10, not 20. This can make a substantial difference in your earnings. Again, make sure you understand these things and ask specifically what your commission will be based upon. Read your agreement and look out for odd sounding clauses. This could come back to haunt you. You don't want that. Something else to be aware of when you work on commissions is returns. Many affiliate marketing companies only pay commissions out on completed sales and then only if the customer keeps the item. If they return the items, your commission could be canceled. To really rub salt into wounds, you could be billed for the outstanding commission if you do not have sufficient commission credit built up. So make sure you understand this before signing on. You cannot expect a company to pay you a commission on an item that is returned, but make sure you understand their return policy too. Find out your rights in this situation. Sometimes people will buy a product, they'll try it out, and the most affiliate marketing programs or whatever they're selling, they'll have a 30-day money-back guarantee. And even though you'll be paid for the product, you may see that sometimes your payment may be pending because some people, once they buy something online and they use it or they look through it after they bought it, they may decide to be like, I don't want this anymore. So then they'll ask for a refund and you will be SOL because that commission will not be given to you because they ask for a refund. So just understand that return policy that the company has that whichever company you are a part of. All right, so affiliate marketing can be a great way to earn money. If you have good sales and marketing skills, then it can give you the opportunity to use them to good use. You'll be able to work for yourself and not someone who undervalues and does not appreciate them. One needs to consider affiliate marketing carefully. Make sure you understand your agreement and exactly what you will be paid for. You don't want to have to go crawling back to your boss begging for your old job back. Now, I put down here understanding. Something you need to understand. Um, you can go full force into affiliate marketing, but if you don't understand the ins and outs, then keep your day job. Use your day job as fuel for your business. Your business is the car. Your day job is the gas. So invest into your business until you're able to leave your job and you can go full force with your business because now your business is producing residual income. All right. All right. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. You can follow me on all social media sites at Eric Gill Jr. And you can follow me on uh, www.airgillgenior.com and check out my podcast. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys on the other side.